Welcome, my name's Dr. Jason W. Morrison and I'm a theologist from New South Wales, Australia. Psychologists help people with themselves and other people and theologists help people with themselves and God. Now we've just gotten through the second part of the Great Tribulation, which is the Great Tribulation, and we've come to the point where we've seen, just let me, I can't move that, where the Tribulation Saints were taken out, and we've gotten to the marriage supper of the Lamb. The beast and the woman were destroyed. They were demoralized by the power of God. And so let's continue on as we get to the point where we're reading about Christ on his white horse. Revelation 19.11, Christ on a white horse. Now I saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he who sat on him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he judges and makes war who might he be the Lord Jesus Christ his eyes were like a flame of fire which reminds us of chapter 1 and on his head were many crowns he had a name written that no one knew except himself I'd like to know what that name was he was clothed with a robe dipped in blood and his name is called the Word of God there you go, the word of God. And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should strike the nations. So here he's coming, <coughs> excuse me, he's coming now to destroy the goat nations that are closing in on Israel. <coughs> excuse me. And he himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads the winepress of the fierceness of wrath of Almighty God. And he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the birds that fly in the mist of heaven, Come and gather together for the great supper of for the supper of the great God, that you may eat the flesh of the kings, the flesh of captains, the flesh of almighty men, the flesh of horses, and of those who sit on them, and the flesh of all people, free and slave, both small and great. And I saw the beast, the kings of the earth and their armies, gathered together to make war against him who sat on the horse and against his army. Then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet who worked signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast. This is Jesus now overcoming these, the Antichrist's um, rule. And those who worshipped his image, poor deceived people, these two were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone, and the rest were killed with the sword which proceeded from the mouth of him who sat on the horse. And all the birds were filled with their flesh. The end of chapter 19. Now we just read that the beast and the false prophet and the dragon were thrown into the abyss, the bottomless pit. Here, look. Here. Satan bound. So he's been thrown in to the bottomless pit with his friends, the beast, the prophet, false prophet, and the dragon. Revelation 20 and verse 1, Satan bound for a thousand years. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit, and a cha great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, the serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him, shut him up, and a seal and set a seal on him so that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years were finished but after these things he must be released for a while the saint train with christ for a thousand years that's us guys and i saw thrones and they sat on them and judgment was committed to them then i saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the witness to jesus and for the word of god that's the people taken out of the great tribulation helped out by the 144,000 
who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and had not received his mark on their foreheads or their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years, but the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed is and holy is he who has a part in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Now this is a combination of all believers in Christ, inclusive of the tribulation saints. And we'll continue in the next talk. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. Watch it on YouTube. Please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. Watch it on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one-off life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.